Crackdowns underway in Palatka on people who blast loud music while driving and those who have a loud car exhaust. The police department says it's because they've been getting complaints about the excessive noise. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock spoke with Putnam County residents who some say they're happy with the crackdown, while others say it's just a way to target people. Well, I live uh, two blocks off of 19, so I can be at home in my bedroom and... And all I want to do is just shoot the tires. <laughs> the noise you just heard Michael Borton mimic is one he hears often in Palatka. It's a loud sound, he says, comes from a modified car exhaust. But it's not the only noise he hears at home. The other is... Loud music. Because of many complaints from residents on loud music and exhaust, the Palatka Police Department says they'll be working to make it a more peaceful summer by cracking down on the noise. The enforcement began yesterday and will go through the start of the school year. Assistant Police Chief Matt Newcomb says while his officers are out patrolling, they'll pay more attention to those two things. And if you're in violation of state statutes talking about loud music or loud exhaust, you could be fined $113 for each. So Florida statute states if your music is heard from 25 feet away, that's a violation. So how far is that? So let's measure. So let's look. This is how far 25 feet away is. It's about as far as going from this car to across the street. When it comes to exhaust, Florida statutes requires vehicles to be equipped with an exhaust system that prevents excessive noise and prohibits vehicle modifications that result in a louder vehicle noise than the noise made by the vehicle as originally manufactured. Do you think that's something that's necessary? No, not at all. I think it's actually ridiculous. I think it's just a way to target more people, specifically melanin people. Alicia Mack and her husband, Michael, own Five Star Cleaning. They don't live in Palatka, but are always in the area for work. And Michael says this enforcement would affect him. I'm one of the people who play loud music, you know. I like to get my groove on. I feel like... I can be more respectable at nighttime or depending on the crowd. But other than that, I'm going to be me and I'm going to play music. And though Borton says this is something he doesn't like, he doesn't want anyone to be fined. Instead, he wants police to do this. Just make sure that they're aware that they're being watched and maybe they won't do it. So maybe the drivers will change their ways. Clay Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station. In the Palatka Police Department social media post talking about this enforcement, somebody asked, would this enforcement be for a certain group? Also, while News for Jax was out there today, that question was asked again. Well, we brought it to the police department and the assistant police chief said they are not targeting any racial group or any group at all, just people who don't abide by the statute. And I remember we have done this story before. I looked it up. We actually did a story July 1st of 2022 Jacksonville residents were talking about the same I thing. I did that story, yeah. right? And and there was mixed reaction, kind of the same thing that they're getting now. You know, you have a group of people who say, hey, it's my music. I want to be able to play it as loud as I want. And then you have others who say, no, not that loud. Uh, it's yeah. hurting my ears. Same and ordinance. I also under, understand both sides of the, the, the issue. You know, they people don't want to feel like they're being targeted. What if the officer just doesn't like the music? What if the officer likes the song that you're playing? But has to tell you to turn it but down. But has to tell you to turn ordinance. it down. Right. You know, th those are the things that, that lawyers will look at, right? Mm -hmm. All right.